taong ahas. Snake. Robinson's Galleria. Alice Dixon. The combination of these words equals urban legend. Sino sa inyo ang di umanoy? Muntik ng makidnap sa isang mall ng supposedly kakainin ng ahas. What I remember on that particular day was I went to Robinson's Galleria Mall and to the department store para mag-browse ng clothing. It wasn't a special day. In fact, it was like any ordinary day. At pagkatapos kong mamili ng mga damit na gusto ko, inassist ako ng isang sales lady and she directed me to the dressing room. I don't really even recall why I was in Robinson's. Kasi sa totoo lang nabibilang sa isang kamay yung ilang beses ako nakarating sa mall nung time na yon. Then somebody close to me uh, and even a couple of fans said or reminded me that the incident actually took place when I was there on a movie shoot. I remember it actually being night. And production told me I needed to change my outfit or go into my costume. And they directed me to the bathroom sa labas ng department store on the fourth floor para magpalit ng damit. Natatandaan ko pa nga na may mga nag sa labas and for some reason, as I was inside the bathroom, I said, Tuklaw, tuklaw. Now, I don't really know kung bakit ko yun ginawa. Siguro kasi I was just being um, funny. I was trying to get a laugh sa mga kasamahan ko. I, I was just being young and silly. And also because yung time na yon, uh, yung kasamaan ko sa pelikulang Jezebel na si Richard Gomez, he had a movie that that came out called Tuklaw at uso yan noon. <laughs> a few days later, lumabas yung balita or gossip na kinagat ako or kinain ako ng malaking sawa sa loob ng mall. Lumabas pa ito sa headline ng tabloids and news. And one day or one morning, 
after, my secretary told me na tumawag ang Robinson's representative. Uh, gusto ako kausapin. But I... I believe they, siguro they wanted to ask me um, if I had made these comments and these accusations. But I dismissed it. I dismissed it and I, I went on with my business. However, the news did not die down. In fact, even months after, pag nakakausap ko yung mga Chinese Filipino friends ko, uh, they were saying na totoo nga, merong offspring na snake, na half snake ang Gokin Way. And of course, <laughs> this was usap-usapan lang, right? There was, wala naman prueba to this. This is where I believe the rumor started to build. And I also hypothesize that meron kasing mass communication curriculum ang isang school that it had um, a particular project to disseminate information to see how far, how convoluted, and how long um, information could spread. And I believe they used this, this story. Um, I know because mass communication graduate din ako and we study these kinds of um, case studies. Yan. My other theory is that my silence created a snowball. Ibig sabihin, uh, perhaps my silence was a contributing factor uh, sa paglaki ng rumor na ito. Uh, but in my defense, even before, kahit ngayon, pag merong hindi totoong rumor, if there's uh, something false that's circulating, naniniwala ko na hindi ko kailangan patulan. I don't have to be defensive about it. That, kaya that was one of my reasons why hindi ako nagkomento noon. And um, I really didn't feel the need to talk about it or defend myself. In fact, nakalimutan ko all about it until um, until recently. Uh, one of my close family friends, uh, meron kaming usapan that after a, a certain point or pagdating ng certain time, that I would actually reveal my story. Hindi naman revelation, pero to tell my story. So, this is the time. This is the time that I want to set things straight. I know a lot of you are going to be saying, ay, ano ba naman yan? Denial na naman. Um, but the, the truth of the matter is, a denial is something that you say if something is actually true. You deny something that's true. But I'm not denying anything because what I'm saying is that nothing really happened. Nothing really happened in the way that the urban legend or the myth dictates. Kunwari, hindi naman ako nahulog sa trap door. Hindi naman ako um, tumakbo sa corridor palabas ng, you know, papuntang hotel. Hindi din naman ako nabayaran ng 850 million at hindi rin nangyari yung nakat yung pagsasalita ko sa isang TV show when I was trying to explain myself. Those things are all not true. The last possible theory is that it is the truth. Right? Pero kaya ba maraming naniniwala because it's just a well hidden secret? Kung totoo nga, bakit walang nag-step forward? Like, there's no security guard, there's no maid, there's no close friend, there's nobody who's actually witnessed this aside from this urban legend. There's nobody to corroborate